Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the extremism card over here. So you might be having a bit of problems with somebody as well. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, maybe this person is not on the same page as you are. You might be obsessed about something as well. You've got Mercury sitting in uh, Scorpio over here. And this is really, a, you know, being obsessed about something and going on about it and not willing to let go of, of it, you know, um, almost having a a bone to pick with you and just focusing on that. So you have got somebody who you are having a little bit of problems with. Now you've got the Enterprise uh, card over here. So there's something brand new that you want to start. And it looks like, you know, it's a very, very hands-on thing. Uh, it's about, you know, expansion. And you've got Jupiter about expansion. And um, you've got uh, Aries over there. So something big that you want to put down. And you're putting a lot of energy into it. Uh, a lot of people have been appreciating your efforts over here and you have been really focused on on your career and on yourself. A lot of messages coming in over here and it looks like it's brought in a lot of goodwill, a lot of uh, growth as well for you uh, and abundance has come in as well. Now, in the past, you've got the assertion card over here. So you have been, uh, you know, showing people who's boss really, taking control of that situation over there. So fighting dragons, but winning and being very defensive as well. And then you've got the influence card of you. So somebody around you has not been very, very happy with anything that you've been doing. They may have been saying some nasty things. You've got that mercury on the tongue of the snake over here. So saying really nasty things, deceptive things, tripping you up, or maybe even saying things behind your back, causing a lot of problems or stirring up problems for you. Going into the future, you're quite defensive. You've got that Mars sitting in Taurus over here. So you're protecting your whatever you've been working for. But also there might be some issues regarding finances that you have needed to sort out as well with that card. Protecting whatever you've been work, whatever you've um, acquired or attained. Because uh, Taurus is ruling your personal finances. And Mars is about disruption and, and problems that are associated with that. So there might be some issues regarding money. Uh, coming up for you so there's the escape card over here make sure that you are you know grounded be very practical in how you're dealing with things the escape card is about escape escapism are you because it's uh, mars sitting in pisces over here so make sure that you know you're not avoiding the issues and you are not uh, you need to deal with it and be very realistic about how you deal with things as far as money goes uh, and don't have, uh, you know, you need to be grounded, really. This card is talking about being grounded as far as finance goes. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Rackham Tarot. And this is for the main read. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the um, Queen of Swords over here. So you could be waiting for something legal to come in. You are working very independently of everybody else. You're managing to speak your truth, and you're taking control of that situation as well. You could well be dealing with a, a, a Libran uh, uh, or an Aquarian or a Gemini, some kind of air sign person as well. But this is about you having gone through a lot of difficulties and now speaking your truth, standing up for yourself, and maybe even waiting for some kind of legal news to come in as well with that Queen of Swords. So there's something that you are dealing for or waiting for for something legal to come in but you're very determined you've been through a lot um, you've got that um, knight of cups over here and you have got the five of rods so there is an offer that is coming in for you so something uh, brand new coming in it's going to stir up a lot of you know emotions over here you can see there's a lot of big waves over there so maybe whatever this legal decision is that you're waiting for is going to cause a little bit of a shake up for you you are dealing with a lot of um, you know difficult people you can see there's a lot of wolves around this tree and this woman stuck up on that tree and it's the five of rods so you've been um you know maybe everybody's ganged up against you and they're giving you a lot of problems and you know you're feeling very emotional about the whole thing you're waiting for some kind of news to come in to, to be able to sort it out it could be something legal that you're dealing with uh that has got you feeling very very upset about the whole situation as well but whatever's going on about it it's it, there's a lot of conflict that you're having to face um now this knight of cups is your card so you might be feeling a bit you know, emotional and you're trying to get over it, they might, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed in this particular situation as well. 
Now, in the past, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, so you have been working pretty hard uh, at whatever you're doing, and you know you are quite financially independent. So money has been coming in. You might be spending a lot of time with family or children that you have, um, and you could also have been dealing with an Earth sign person over here. So. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, because this is a Pentacles card, and it's the Queen of Pentacles, so that you, may, you might have been dealing with this person as well on the home front. But financially, you are pretty pretty much set. Um, so the Queen of Cups is your ca uh, card over here. You know, it feels, you know, this card is usually about somebody who's in charge, who knows their emotions, who, who has, you know, um, on top of things but in this particular deck you've got this uh really old m merman over here and he looks really exhausted so you have been through a lot you've learned a lot of lessons maybe you know you're taking a little bit of a break from all of this drama or you want to take a break from all of the drama that has gone and get yourself into perspective again now with this king of pen uh, king of cups you could also be getting some advice from somebody who's been through it as well so it could be a father figure or somebody that you have gotten support from it could even even been uh you know some kind of um medical uh intervention that has happened in the sense of counseling somebody that is giving you some advice and maybe you've needed that to be able to get through whatever situation you went through you are trying to focus back on your work again with that um, uh, hermit card, and but you're isolating yourself away from everybody else. So you are trying to withdraw and get yourself uh, your perspective back again. You can see that with that King of Cups, since it is your card, and with the Hermit card is you know finding your own path and moving on, and uh, you know relying on yourself, your own strength, and even with this Queen of um, swords you know having gone through some kind of divorce or a legal battle you know you are trying to stand up on your own two feet again and you know you are using your own stave your own strength to um to get over the situation whatever's going on is still causing a lot of disruption there's still a lot of problems around you and you are feeling very isolated and very victimized in that particular situation. Now, you've got the world card. So this particular cycle that you've gone through has now come to an end. You've learned a lot of lessons because this is the card that's ruled by Saturn. You could have even gone through a lot of problems in work as well with this world card. And now that has come to an end. So you might be changing careers as well or just even changing life cycles. So ending off a you know, very difficult karmic cycle as well. And you've got the... Um, the Wheel of Fortune over here. So big change is coming in. So that karmic cycle ends. You've got another karmic ending over here with that 10, um, which is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So things are changed and you've grown up quite a bit. You've matured a lot from whatever's happened. Now things are going to be coming for you. So after all this has gone down, it looks like the universe is going to give you a gift. You've got the Nine of Cups over here. So wishes being fulfilled and financial success personal success coming in for you satisfaction and maybe love even coming in for you there whatever you've been hoping for is going to be coming your way you want to be able to you know maybe travel you've got that king of wands energy over here maybe you're starting your own business as well so you're thinking of that branching off by yourself and starting off where you're more hands-on and more in charge and that's in your hopes and fears now going into the future and the final outcome you've got the six of pentacles the ace of swords and uh the high priestess so with this um ace of swords and the six of pentacles it looks like there's some kind of legal settlement coming in for you over here that's going to bring you a lot of money so um you know there might have been that divorce that you went through and it looks like money is going to be coming in because you've got that ace of swords and the rainbows so new thoughts and ideas coming in but also a victory and a breakthrough and with the six of pentacles that is money coming in for you as well lots of it as well um you've got that high priestess make sure you're going by your own intuition there's something that's hidden behind this curtain so just be aware there could be some kind of information that hasn't come to light yet but when that information comes to light it looks like it's going to bring success and victory to you so the truth is going to be revealed you don't have to do anything to expose it it will come out in the open and it's going to bring you victory but also it's going to bring you some kind of financial payout so if things don't seem to be going your way right now it looks like it's, there's going to be some kind of turnaround something coming suddenly to light that's going to bring victory to you and bring in big changes because you've got the Wheel of Fortune as well coming in there. And the World Card. It's going to end the situation completely and bring in that victory. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. And it says, you've got the Five of Winter over here. So your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome. So why not change it 
always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to hidden agendas of others. So watch out for the people that you're dealing with. You might be dealing with a snake, um, as the energy read said, um, and you're still having a lot of conflict, but there's also some legal issues that you're dealing with at this particular moment. Um, now you've got the Ace of Springs. This is victory, whatever uh, you've been going through. So a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may come as a surprise, uh, but you will want to keep. Uh, you will want to leap into action and pas passionately pursue every possibility. <laughs> so this is a brand new start for you. You've got a new moon over here, and this is a new prospect, a new um, uh, enterprise, something brand new starting up for you. And uh, it's going to be, as they said, it might be a bit of a surprise, but it's going to, you know. Um, be something that's quite successful as well and something that you're very passionate about as well and you've got the justice card coming over here so you are waiting for that legal decision to come in so fair decisions will be made after all the evidence has been reviewed impartially have compassion for others and try to see all sides of the disagreement so there is that judgment coming in but there is success coming in with it you've got a lot of stars over there and like i said once that information comes uh, information that has is uh, hidden comes to light there is victory with that legal decision and there is a good good payoff from it so you're going to receive some kind of financial reward as well from that um um, legal decision and also you know it ends this particular cycle the world card also talks about a financial payout so it looks like money is coming to you from whatever that legal situation is uh, but it's going to help you move on and uh, you know make a decision and move on uh, and start a new phase in your life so i hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye